Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about alter table command. Now, let's say what if you want to change a table? Uh, for example, you want to change the DDL or data definition language and then use, then we would use the alter table command. This command is used to change existing tables uh, by adding or removing columns, adding or removing, adding or changing column data types or constraints. But there is something that you need to keep in mind that all the changes that, uh, that you make, they must match with the current data. For example, you wanna you have nulls uh, within for some values in a in a column, and you want to change the column definition uh, to not null. Then you're gonna get some errors. So you need to keep that in mind. Otherwise, you can do that. Now I'm gonna give you the syntax for alter table. Do not run this. I'm gonna run it. There is gonna be an error because we need to have more than one table. And in the uh, in the last lecture of this chapter, I'm gonna show you how you can work with alter table as well so first you're going to write alter table this is what i showed you in in one of the previous lectures now let's say we have an email address table that's why it's going to throw an error because we have not created this table and then we are going to say add constraint add constraint what is the constraint so the constraint is going to be it, it has to have a name right so it is email address now this email this name belongs to a column inside the email address table we have not created that yet so email address student id this is that column what is the type of the uh, constraint because we need to prefix the constraint name with the type of it it is foreign key so fk perfect now we need to write the foreign key uh, as well so if or uh, we have foreign key uh, I think it is spelled correctly. Perfect. Now, which column does it belong to? We know which column it belongs to. It belongs to this column. Perfect. Now, this is the foreign key. Foreign keys are basically primary keys from another table. So what is the other table? What is the table that this email address references to grab the primary key from and convert it to a foreign key for itself? So we are going to say reference, it's basically simple English, references, references, which table, students, which column, student ID, student underscore ID. So, and end it with a semicolon. So this is how the syntax of alter table actually works. If you run it, you're going to get an error because the email address table does not exist. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.